All right, welcome back. We, I am Jay Soren, and we are going through the car modding tutorial. This is picking back up after leaving off from the adding a weapon. So in the last little segment, we added a turret to our vehicle, our little UAZ, which you can see here, and the editor the or I guess the tutorial doesn't go into how to do this but now I'm going to show everyone how to change the doors or at least change the color of them or remove them completely and how to um, make it look just like what they have here in this photo so going back to our this is our little yellow UAZ with a gun on top of the canvas here, which is kind of ridiculous, but I'm really digging it. All right, and I think I found this. So a lot of these things are kind of trial and error. I'm not an expert here. I'm learning as I go through it. So I went to slot manager component and I saw these slots and they look kind of promising. Frame, door, left one, right one. Uh, let's start going through these and see what's going on. All right, so this looks promising. I got a UAZ 469 door L01. I can, let's see, what do I want to do? I want to find where this is in the resource browser. So this is the resource browser. Again, we are in our world editor. And if I go back to my Infusion Workbench module, my resource browser is on the left. And for my world editor window, I have my resource browser set up on the bottom. These are these can be changed around. If, uh, if you haven't watched earlier videos or gone through these tutorials yourself, you can learn about how to do those. At some point, I will probably go through how to set these up. Anyways, uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm in the resource browser in the world editor. I have hit this little magnifying glass in order for it to show me where this model this prefab is so looking at this this is in arma reforger files so not in our mod this is in the base game under prefab under vehicles uaz 469 vehicle parts and doors and we have our which one is this l01 all right, let's uh, let's make a copy. So we're going to duplicate to car modding tutorial. Now, I didn't say this earlier in the other parts, but you see how there's this duplicate up here. If that, I'm not sure why that's not an option right now, but it, if, if it is an option, that is different than the duplicate to the car modding tutorial. This is the one we want. If you ever have these two and you click on this one, it will duplicate it, but it will have nothing filled out. It won't have the same parameters as was in the one you're pulling from and it won't have all the materials and stuff connected to it it will be empty um, so if you want it to be empty if you want to build it all from the ground up do that but if you want to edit what's existing do the duplicate to car modding tutorial so we're going to do door l01 we're real creative we're going to do modded All right, real great. It brought us back to our, it made all the, oh, let's see. It didn't make new stuff because we already had these here. We had our UAZ, you know, that's our UAZ modded. And in our, it made a new vehicles parts folder and our doors, our door modded. So before we open this up, let's save our prefab with options. Okay. I'm going to click on this. This brought me back to the Infusion Workbench, and I don't know exactly why it does that. Now you can see up here I have my UAZ modded materials. That's for the body. I have the, this is the original one. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to close this out. And this is our vehicle. Um, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's, hmm. Actually, to show you that this will update as we're editing things in the, so our Infusion Workbench little model thing there will update as we are editing things in our world editor. So what I'm going to do before I open up the prefab, I, I edit the prefab for this door, what I'm going to do is 
change this prefab slot. So I'm going to our UAZ469 modded. I'm going to slot manager component under the object properties. I am going down to the slots door L01 and I'm going to hit the double dot little button and I'm going to find the prefab that we just made. So I'm going to collapse all these, these get these out of my way. I don't want the armor we're forger ones. I want the one that's in our prefab folder. Parts, doors, um, that's our vehicle right there. The but we want our left zero one modded. Okay. All right. So now I am going to save this. Save prefabs with options. Okay. I'm going to go back to my infusion workbench and I am going now we're going to edit this prefab. So we have a prefab for our vehicle and in it is these other prefabs. It's made up of other prefabs, which is this door. And one of them is this door. And we're going to edit the door prefab itself. So you, now you can see this brought us back into World Editor. And we have a way shorter object properties list than we did for our vehicle. Now what I want to do is I want to change the color of this door. So here I have my door. Let's see. Oh, interesting. So I click on my mesh object and I have a few different things. I have my materials, I have details. I'm guessing the details is our, man, this is so dark. Um, our details is like the, uh, uh, the dirt and stuff, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's, uh, let's look at this. So I'm going to click this to open it. Brings me back to infusion workbench folder. And now I've opened up my materials, the body material for, oh, okay. It applied. So it use, oh, this is interesting. This uses the same body material as the frame did. So from that, it looks like I don't actually have to make a new one. I thought we were going to have to make a new one specifically for this door, but that's kind of nice. So instead, I'm going to go back to, I'm going to exit that out. I'm going to go back to our world editor and to our door. Again, we're in the object properties, mesh object, materials. I have my UAZ469 body. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that double dot and I'm going to find that one we made earlier, my nice yellow one. Close all these up. My car modding tutorial, assets, vehicles, wheeled. And remember, this one's in assets. This one, we are not doing uh, this file. The materials files are not in prefabs. They're under assets. All right, and there's my nice yellow door. Oh, no, it only changed the, the bottom part. What are we going to do? All right, so let's figure out what's going on with that. Why do I only have the bottom door? Let's look at what they had for theirs. Yeah, they have the top part done too. So we're going to figure out how to do that. Let's see. All right, so in our object, there's this door. Let's go through some of these other things. Uh, so how about slot manager component? Door top, look at, there it is. All right, so it looks like we have another prefab for the door top. So before we do anything else, I'm going to save this prefab with options. My door uh, left zero one modded. Okay. I'm going to click on this. I can see where this thing is stored. Okay. Cancel. Let's, let's get this to open up in our resource browser. And same thing as before, I'm going to duplicate the car modding tutorial and add the name modded. There we go. That is now made. I'm going to change out this prefab. Make sure you change it to the right one. They look exactly the same right now, so it's easy to get them mixed up. And the only thing that's different is their name. Oh, 
Oh, that's our vehicle. Oh, look at it. It already changed the door color. Um, but anyways, let's uh, let's go to our vehicle parts doors. We're looking for the L01 top audit. All right, so I have that in place. I'm going to save this. Save prefabs with options. And now, again, I have to... I want to open up this prefab. Now, this is my prefab. This is the one we just made. So this is our top modded one. So now if I click on this, it brings me back to the Infusion Workbench. You can see I had my full door here. I have the materials here. And I have my vehicle. And it updated the car door. It only did left 01, L01. So all the rest are still this dumb color and they don't match my vehicle. All right, so let's continue on. So our top one, we're gonna edit our prefab, brings us back to our world editor, and now we're just kind of going through the motions. We're doing a bunch of the stuff we did before. It's also using the body EMAT file, so we are going to go and find ours again. It's the one I made before. Remember, it's an assets, vehicles, wheel, UAZ, data, body, modded. I have now changed this. I'm going to file, save, prefab with options. OK. That's weird. Is that just me or does it look like it didn't change it? Well, let's check our, uh, oh, down here in the window it did. I guess it's just dark right now. Let's go back to, so I'm going to minimize my world editor video uh, window. And look at it, that brought me back to my Infusion Workbench window going to my modded vehicle hmm all right so it didn't update my door yet let's go back oh and look at that in our door this is not updated I don't know why let's go figure out what's going on here so we're back here we are going to our slot managers it looks like it should be so what is going on hmm So I think I have an idea. I'm going to minimize my, what was that? I'm minimizing my world editor. I'm going to go back to the UAZ door L01 top modded. I'm going to edit my prefab. And there's, there's something we had to do like this, similar to this in the clothing stuff there's a lot of uh, some stuff that happens like this so I'm gonna explore a little bit I'm looking for something that's like overriding these this color so I don't see anything there let's go back to our mesh object and there I have this is there some kind of override I don't see any reason to change this detail this looks like it's the right one. Hierarchy. Rigid. This. This. Yeah. Double checking myself. Yeah, it's right when I have my top modded one up. All right, so I'm gonna, I didn't change anything. I'm not gonna worry about saving. I'm gonna bring this back up. Look at my slot managers. This looks like the right one. All right, so why is this not working? Inherent parent skeleton. Ooh, is that why? Uh, it doesn't look like it did anything. There might be a checkbox to override things or something like that. Try that out. Did that do it? No, nope, it didn't do it. Uh, undo all these. Share it again.
mesh. Let's go back to our mesh object. Let's look at these details. What's in these details? See stuff here. I don't think any of these are overriding that. I can exit that out. All right, so a lot of this is trial and error. We're doing, I'm doing this for the first time, trying to figure it out. I figured out how to do that bottom one, so now we gotta figure out, there's something overriding this is my assumption. And in fact, I think now if that's not working, sometimes you just need to close everything out and try again. So I saved all, I'm gonna exit out of this restart my reforger tools and see if that fixes it. So that brought my Infusion Workbench launcher back up, car modding tutorial. Okay, look at that, that brought that back up. My body, oh, and that did it. It just needed to be reset, that is why it wasn't working. So, boom, I now have my nice yellow door. And look at that. I have uh, one whole yellow door. All right, let's, um, let's see. What do we want to do? Do we want, do we want these all through the other ones? Yeah. Let's, let's uh, quickly change out this little one. So I'm going to edit. I'm going to open up my prefab back in world editor. I'm going to do the same thing quickly. I'm going to rush through this to do these other doors. So now I have to remember what that was. Yep, that was slot manager component going to door R01. Look at that, there's that little prefab. Use the magnifying glass to bring up where it is. I'm gonna make a copy of it or duplicate to car modding tutorial. I'm going to change that, find this, did not mean to select that one. So I got that back open. All right, so now this is my modded one, I'm going to save. prefab for the door, change my material to my modded one, it's a nice thing about having all these things being modded, I can just search it, alright, got to do the door again, so slot manager component, save this. the right zero one top open this up now I got to edit this prefab so that's why we saved it we're switching prefabs when you switch uh, something when you open something new in the world editor it closes your old one so that's uh, I guess I should have said that before that's why we're making sure to save before we edit another prefab um, also note, you don't have to close out of anything in the world editor to change materials. But anyways, you can experiment with that and find that on your own. All right, changing my material to our modded one. Beautiful yellow. Saving my prefab with options. All right, so you notice how down here 
it didn't change the color on my thumbnail, I'm going to reset this. So I'm going to refresh, I'm going to right click, refresh thumbnails. Ooh, and it didn't change it again. Hmm, why not? Maybe, maybe this didn't work. Let's check our world editor. Oh, it did. All right, so I go back to my Infusion workbench and under, under the R01 top. Ooh, ooh, wait. Hmm, why does it say R01 top? That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted to do. Yep, this is R01 top. So we want to revert the, or undo this. I want to cancel. I want to, uh, can I, let's see if I exit this, if it will. No, don't save. All right, edit this prefab. All right, this one's back to normal. I don't want this one. So I'm gonna exit that out. I'm gonna exit this. I'm gonna go back to my edit prefab. So now I'm back to the, the R01 door, modded. And you can see up in the top here, it says modded, that's mine. Slot manager. Oh, and, and this is why it didn't, it didn't switch them. Maybe I just forgot to, I can't remember at this point. So remember, I want the top modded. Okay, I have this, save it. Okay, click that to open this up in the Infusion Workbench. Edit Prefab to open it in World Editor. Mesh Object, change my materials. And you can see once I saved it, it, it updated my thumbnail and now it's showing down here in the bottom. So I'm gonna minimize my world editor and now in my Infusion Workbench under my top modded, it is now showing. And if I switch back to this one, it is not again, but it, I'm gonna assume that's the same thing as our first time where we had to restart Workbench. I don't know why, and maybe we'll figure it out. Let me, so I'm gonna go through and quickly do the other ones without saying anything, and we will then reset Workbench and make sure that our car looks exactly how we want it. Save all, it's doing all the doors, and now, We are going to restart this and see if it changes the colors of all these tops of the doors. So I'll just close that out, rerun Reforger Tools. Car modding tutorial. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? No, I guess it's just rendering everything. All right, there we go. And look at my tops of my doors are now the color that I wanted. Now, one more, I'm gonna change the top of this roof. Um, here, I'm gonna close out all these extra doors. Uh, these are all open from what I've been working on. You can see what they are as I'm going through here. I don't need them open, I'm not gonna mess with them again. And now I'm gonna edit my prefab, bring me back into the world editor. Now I'm gonna go down, find my slot manager component, collapse that door, because I don't need to mess with that anymore. And I wanna do, huh, where is our, oh, there it is. All right, so under frame is our prefab for the roof assembled. And same thing as the other one. We are going to we're going to make a duplicate of this.
All right, so we made a duplicate of that, and now let's add that into our stuff. All right, we got that assembled. Let's go, and that's in this right place. We can see that in the prefab slot. Let's save that. Go to our roof. We're going to edit the prefab. It's going to open this up in World Editor. Mesh Objects. Oh, that's weird. This is listed as. Okay, so this is the frame, which is not what we want. We want to go to the slot manager component. Oh, interesting. All right, so this frame has a bunch of stuff that's assembled in it. Again, there's assemblies on top of assemblies all throughout here. So I didn't realize that was going to be the case. I. Do I want to change? Yeah, let's change our frame. Let's make our frame our nice, beautiful yellow color. So we're going to change the body color to our modded one. Our nice banana yellow. I love that. That looks great. All right, save that. Now I want to figure out how to change this actual canvas. Oh, look at that, and there it is. Again, we have to do this whole process again. Now that I've made that, I've got to replace this prefab with my new one. Let's save that and let's open this up open the prefab mesh object and look at that we have this canvas that's the model the XOB is the model the emat is the materials and it looks like there's just a details one we don't have the body one like we did before so let's open up where this is located and let's make wait Hold on, maybe we need to double check something. There's a details one. This looks like the one we've been using. Mm, I think I need to use some caution here. Why is... Hmm. All right, let's, let's make a copy of this to see. Look, we're gonna, we're gonna duplicate this one. We're gonna mess with it, see if it changes the color as we think it will. There we go, I got my modded. I'm gonna open this up and it's gonna bring me to the Infusion Workbench. And, hmm. Okay, this is a multi, so this is a, yeah, you can see up here the class is Matt PBR Multi. And we're gonna go down to our material one, our base. It's a black. I don't know. I don't think that's the one. Uh, let's try it. Let's see what happens. So if I change this to a white, what happens there? I'm going to hit that. Okay. Go back to my car. Hmm. That didn't seem to do it. I don't know what that changed. Maybe I forgot to... Uh, Alright, so save all this. Maybe I forgot to set that as my... Yep, it looks like I did. I forgot to... This is my modded one, right? Yeah, it is. So now I can go here, look for the modded. Uh oh, I don't know. Did that do it? I'm not seeing a. Maybe this is somewhere in here. Maybe it's not our, oh, we see we have a leather one. So this base color, that into it. This matte material three color, does that look like, it says leather. What in this is leather? What is this? Maybe it's the seats. Maybe it's 
something else? I'm not entirely sure. What is four? Our blue channel, our mask map. Mm, no, nope, I don't think that's it. Yeah, I don't think that's what we want. Maybe it is, maybe. Let's see, is there anything to give this away? Because what was this other one said leather? Plastic? Canvas. Oh wait, this must be it. This must be our canvas. So what color do we want our canvas? Um, I mean, like, I think red's my favorite color. But a bit, a red and a yellow and red one. I'm not so sure. Maybe let's just do. Yeah, let's just do white. Let's just do a white one. Let's have a maybe even like a really light yellow. Save all those. And what did this? Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, so we found it. It was one of those materials. So this one was tricky. Um, luckily, there was this, you know, the name of it that helped me find out what it was. Um, obviously, I wouldn't want to use it like down here. I don't know what I changed. What would this be? Metal bear. All right, so the metal would have been that color. But um, as you can see, this material is applied to a bunch of different objects. But I, my modded one is only going to be applied to one object, so I'm not going to worry about fixing that. I'm just going to leave it. Um, but what, what did change this, just to be clear, was the... Oh yeah, there it is. Material 2. So Material 2 of this one is what changed our canvas color. I don't like that. All right, let's see how that looks with our car. Oh my gosh, it's not working yet. Our roof assembled. Let's see if that's the reason why. Oh, I forgot to save that one. So yes, to save it, our mesh object here, our slot manager. This should be the color. So I'm going to save everything. I'm going to exit out and restart it. Open my car modding tutorial. Oh, and that did it. Look at that. All right, so now I have my banana car with my light canvas. And now you can see that I could troubleshoot and try to figure out. I could change everything for colors in this. I could go and change the color of the gun. I could change, dude, I could change the color of the projectiles. But all that stuff's not, obviously, you can go through and figure out how to do it. All these things are super customizable. I don't know how much detail I can get. I'm assuming that if I keep searching around, I can do the trim, I can do the tires, I can do anything, um, which is like kind of cool. Um, I don't know what the exact limits are, but I, I know that I could like change the, uh, ooh, you know, I'm gonna take that back. I know I can change the model and like put in my own stuff for like the projectile of a gun. I don't know if I could change the color of a base game projectile but I'm assuming you could you could do the same thing we just did where you go you find it you find the model and you change you find that that models material and you change that material color anyways that is that wraps up the segment on changing these doors and the canvas and now we have our dumb little banana UAZ with a cream top slightly yellow cream top all right, and that's a good spot to take a quick break. I'll be back in a couple minutes and we will, let's see, what's the next section? Oh, doing particle effects. So we're gonna then change our exhaust effects. And then, uh, then we're really close. After that, we're testing. So, all right, be right back. This is a good stopping point. 